Hey everyone, welcome to another Anime Kingdom discussion and review. This one is on episode 4 of Raka no Yusha. And this episode, I mean, everything is finally being put together. Like, I've been wondering, you know, the whole um, synopsis and premises of this anime. You know, they think he is the one that is a fake. There's seven of them. But so far, we haven't really gotten into that. But this episode, finally, we do get all seven heroes have come together. Before I talk about that, you know, the episode starts off with that fight that's going on. But, you know, he managed, um, Autolet manages to convince pretty much Nashitania to not fight her because, you know, she is one of the Braves and everything. And that he trusts her and, you know, there's a reasoning and everything behind what she's done because she has actually killed all these potential Braves. And I'm wondering why that too. I'm thinking it's so she could be um a brave you know so she took out all the other higher up potential ones so she could be a brave because she has something to do she wants to kill the demon lord and the big thing is you know um she says she wants to revive she did because she wants to revive him but yes i'm guessing she has some type of vendetta or some definitely some reason we'll find out later on why she wants to kill the you know the demon lord and everything and we'll probably learn that in some other episode and everything. Um, in this episode, we also see Goldolf. You know, he obviously getting kind of jealous of how Audelit is getting closer to Na uh, Nashitania. Of course, kind of got my hopes down with Audelit saying it's not that kind of thing between them. I kind of want that. I like Nashitania and I like Audelit. I would love them to be together, but it doesn't look like that's what is going to happen kind of thing, you know? For one thing, this isn't like a romance anime, so that's not going to be the main center of it. But of course, you know, all these animes, like stuff like this, is, it's going to have something on the side. Because obviously we see Goldolf does have feelings for her, so it's a possible maybe love triangle. I don't like love triangles at all, but it's a possibility. Um, what else happened in this episode? Of course, we did see some fighting scenes. We saw a whole bunch of fiends. We finally get to see Goldolf fight with his huge sword, and everyone kind of, the four of them fight together. We didn't really get to see Autolet fight using his normal meth, you know, his crazy things, which is kind of disappointing. I want to see more of that because, like he said, you don't need to be super strong to be the strongest. He's, he uses every advantage he can take. And I would love to see him use more of those, you know, his weird way of fighting with using anything he can kind of stuff. Because it didn't really show in this episode, you know. Um, but, of course, he does go off and it seems that these fiends, so there's flying ones, they could drop bombs, and then there's also fiends that can transform and f like into a human like and all of a sudden he transforms again what i didn't understand is why um it told him all of it to go to the temple and then it transformed and ran away that didn't make sense and then all of a sudden someone activated the barrier so i don't know who that is either and i'm guessing that's why they're going to think all of it is the one because he activated the, they, he was the first one there kind of thing you know so i can see why that is going on but there is seven of them we finally see um, the other three that is um, the girl Chamo, or I forget how to say her name correctly, but the little girl, she's like the uh, something of the, she's the swamp, um, saint of the swamp, yeah, I forgot saint, saint of the swamps or something, I don't know what her power is, but she wants to kill um, Frammy for some reason, so there's some history between them. We do meet Mora. She's supposed to be like super powerful and everything, and she like she looked, seemed nice at first, and all of a sudden like she did this and like, mm, and it's like all of a sudden Chan was like, oh okay, I'll stop. And then there was also another one named Hans, this new this other guy. He's kind of weird, definitely kind of weird. He's just like ha ha ha, always laughing and stuff. And like I don't know, like that would be the kind of guy I would think is fake. It's either him or Fremi, but I don't know yet. But the ending is really just showing that. There's seven there. One of them is an enemy. One of them is a fake. And they got to find out who. Because also, Mora is set on there's no way possible that a seventh person can be of the six braves and everything. The six flowers. And it's like, it's a possibility it could change. I don't know. I guess because it's been like that forever that it's like, no way it would change now, right? Um, one way I think they could figure out, you know, the, re the fake is... They talked about it before, is when you go into the Demon Lord land area, only the Braves can survive it. Anyone else will die. So obviously, just all go there, and if there's a fake, they will die. 
if there's not, then that just means there's seven this time. I, that's what I would say, you know? Like, I'm not too sure how it's going to go, but that was, that's pretty much the whole episode, you know, um, the initial encounter with Fremi trying to, you know, and Nashitania and Goldo fighting to them finally being okay, to them rushing to the temple, all of a sudden the temple's getting blown up and everything, which the temple is fine, absolutely unscathed. And then that's why I didn't understand why he tried to use the bomb to open the door, because obviously it wouldn't break, because the bombs didn't even break it. But then of course it just opened up randomly. That's why another thing is, like I'm wondering, did someone plan this? Was it that, like what's up with the fiend? Why did it transform back again and then run away? Why is he, you know, doing... Uh, why the door opened for him? What, who activated the barrier? There's so many questions from this episode. Who is the fake? <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, but yeah, seriously, there's so many questions left over from this episode that's just really got me like, oh my gosh. I want to see the next episode already because I want all these answers, you know, these questions answered. It's like, jeez, a lot of stuff happened just left open at the end of this episode, seriously. But yeah, it's really all I got to say about this episode. I did enjoy it. Um, seeing some, you know, drama going on and stuff, everything happening. There was some fighting, not too much. I would like to see more, but overall still just like like that, like the last parts of the episode really just got me thinking, what about this? What about that? Is this, who is this? Why is this happening? Who is the fake? It's just so many questions in my head like, oh my gosh. Just let the next episode come out already so these questions will be answered. <laughs> but yeah, gonna have to wait till next week, guys. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this Anime Kingdom discussion and review. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If you have anything, if there's anything I'm missing you want to talk about, comment below as well. And until next time, guys, see ya.